friends, my name is Dr. Marissa May. In this video, we're going to look at using the Desmos graphing calculator to graph y is less than or equal to 2x plus 3. I do need to tell you that I am a teacher in Texas, and so I always encourage my students to use the Desmos Texas graphing platform because that's what they will use on their standardized test. So I'm going to be sure and link that below for you so that you can use the Desmos um, Texas version of the graphing calculator, but let's go straight to it. All right, so this is the Texas version of the Desmos graphing calculator. It's completely free. So if you are a student in Texas, I definitely encourage you to bookmark this um, version of the calculator because it is what you're gonna use on your star test. Um, but let's type in this y is less than or equal to 2x plus three and look at the graph. So I've got y less than or, and then I type the equal to sign. So I did a less than, then I did an equal to 2x plus three to graph. And you're going to notice that I get this little error, okay? Because on this version of Desmos, it does not let you graph this inequality, okay? So what I tell you to do is I want you to erase that less than or equal to, and I want you to just put an equal sign. The reason we do this is because it'll force Desmos to graph it, okay? And once we have it graphed, now we can deal with the less than or equal to part. Let's do that. All right, if I want to graph now y is less than or equal to 2x plus 3, then I need to decide if I'm going to have a solid or a dashed line. Because of that equal to underneath that inequality, then we know it's a solid line. So if you have less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, that's a solid line. If you have less than or greater than, that's a dashed line. So in this case, we have the right line. It's a solid line. Now we just need to figure out which side do we shade, okay? And I always think we're gonna choose the, look at the y-intercept, okay? And you wanna go less than that. So less than means below. So you're going to shade below the y-intercept. So that's this side of the graph, right? And you can shade all of that. And that's how you use the Desmos Texas star version of the Desmos graphing calculator and still answer these types of questions. You just ask Desmos to you put an equal sign there so it'll force Desmos to graph it. You decide if it needs a solid or a dashed line, and then you do the shading above or below that y-intercept. All right, friends. Bye for now.